Hi, this is Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils, Health Matters, and Living the Wholesome Life. And we are on week 29, day four, of our positive, peaceful affirmations that we are doing every day, Monday through Friday. We are following Dr. Susan Lawton's book, Positive, Peaceful Growth Calendar. And um, you can buy it at Aroma Tools or Oil Life. If you love positive affirmations, and who doesn't love positive affirmations, right? They keep us, they keep our minds so healthy and um, just on the right track. If you love music therapy and who doesn't love music, and if you love essential oils and aromatherapy, you are just gonna love this book. Can't say enough about it. Makes perfect gift for you or um, someone that you love during this trying time, or even when, even if it's not a trying time, like it's still a really good to, um, gift to give. Okay, so y'all know that, well, if you've been following us, you all know that the affirmation for this week is, I am anticipating extraordinary things happening. And I am. I think that there is always good that can come from from any situation. Um, there's always things to learn. There's always things to do. Um, there's always heroes that we can be or um, helps that we can be. So I think I am really um, looking for anticipating extraordinary things happening. Now, um, I think that sometimes God hits us with hard things um, I'm going to rephrase that one. I think that God, sometimes God presents us with hard things because he knows um, wh what the strength that we need in the future. So sometimes God gives us um, little things in our life to help make us stronger. And sometimes God gives us little things in our life to remind us, hey, you might want to get back on the path of happiness. Um, back in the path, path of righteousness. Now, um, am I saying that that's what's happening with um, the stuff that's going around on in the world today? Um, I am not about to speak for God. And obviously, like, why in the world would I do that, right? Who knows? I don't know the mind of God. All I know is that um, the scriptures say that before the second coming of Christ, lots of things are going to be going on, like earthquakes in diverse places and um, storms and plagues and stuff like that. I don't know when Christ is going to come again. I do know that he will come again someday. Is he going to come again soon? Who can say? Who can say? All I know is that I pray that Christ will come again soon. I can't wait so he is the person who rules and reigns with love and kindness and equity and all that stuff. I think the world is ready. Um, are, I don't know that any of us are ever ready <laughs> to, um, to face Christ, but I think that the world needs what Christ has to give. And I think that the world needs needs what Christ's gospel has to give. So if all of this hardship brings us closer to God, I think it's a very, very good thing. Okay, so, um, you're fine. Here comes Xander, hold on, hold on, hold on. Xander, can you say hi? Come here, come here, come here. He doesn't wanna say hi. Um, I don't know if you can see him. Can you, can you see if you can see him? This is Zanny. He is my little one, and we just got little bunnies, like um, two big bunnies and a male and a female, and two little bunnies. Um, so maybe in a couple months, we'll be having some bunnies. But he, Zanny, is just loving, loving, loving. Here you go. He's loving his bunny right now. Okay, so um, he, I think he wants to stay here with me. Anyway. Okay, so I am the affirmation for the entire week is I'm I'm anticipating extraordinary things. He's fine. I'm anticipating extraordinary things happening. So what extraordinary things are you? What extraordinary things would you want to come from this? 
right? How can we, how can we um, help the extraordinary things that we want to come from this happen? Like, isn't it an amazing gift that we are all home? We have this ex an amazing opportunity to get to know our family members, to love on them more, to become closer to, and we like schools out. We get this extraordinary opportunity. Caleb, can you go shut that door? Um, so we don't let all the warm air out. Anyway, Zanny just went outside with the rabbit. Anyway, but we have this extraordinary opportunity to get to know our family members, to 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 have time to be with our family members and teach them the things that we want to be teaching them, and um, and teaching ourselves the things that we want to be teaching ourselves too, right? Anyway, it's a very very good thing. Okay, there's so many good things, and I'm can. I know I've 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 said so much about my neighbors in the past on how they've made us masks and um, given us gifts. Like someone brought over a strawberry freezer jam the other day. My husband loves 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 strawberry freezer jam, and as do you know all the family. Anyway, all I'm saying is we have this incredible opportunity right now in this time of darkness and uncertainty to to be the pillars of faith to to um to help other people to love on other people i know and as we love on other people i know that that can that in itself can be extraordinary and can make extraordinary things happen so anyway i do anticipate extraordinary things coming from this time of uncertainty and hardship that we are all going through right okay that said the affirmation for today is I am moving with an expectation that change is good for me. Okay, I'm just gonna add one. You know how I love to tweak the affirmations from this book. So how I'm tweaking it for me today is I am moving forward with an expectation that change is good for me. So I'm moving forward, change is good for us. So if I was really contemplating, um, what would Heavenly Father want me to change? I almost feel like this is confessional time, but I think that through this whole entire thing, Heavenly Father would want me to learn more patience. Patience with myself, patience with my family members. Heavenly Father would want me to learn how to talk in a sweeter tone, um, a softer tone. Heavenly Father would want me to prioritize better and to put him first in my life and maybe put him first in my family's life a little bit better. Heavenly Father would want me to learn that just obeying our our leaders, right? That And gaining a trust in our leaders, gaining a trust that they really want what is best for us. And so when they stay, say stay home and stay safe, like, I can develop that trust. I feel like Heavenly Father would want me to learn through this whole thing. Like, I think that Heavenly Father is trying to tell me, hey, Suzanne, you might want to do this. Or, hey, Suzanne, you might want to do that. And when I do it, I it brings me happiness. And it makes it brings me peace. And when I don't do it, and then I'm like, because I sometimes it's hard for me sometimes to to think is that my own voice telling me something or is that heavenly father's voice i know because the holy ghost um speaks in such a uh, a soft quiet voice i but through everything i feel like i'm learning to listen and hear that voice a little bit more Follow it, and I'm learning to follow that voice a little bit more promptly. And so I think that's one of the things. I guess the ability to recognize inspiration, I get it, and to run with it fastly. I don't know that fastly is a word, but fastly and completely. What are some of the other things that Heavenly Father might want me to learn from this? What's everything that's going on? Trust in Him. Trust that it's okay no matter what happens. Life is okay. Like, even if I was to die, I know I'd be resurrected. 
because Christ was resurrected. So I know I would meet all my loved ones again someday. I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe that's something that we can journal about today. We're going through a hard and uncertain time right now. What is it that perhaps I'm learning? What good things am I learning? What virtues am I developing? What strengths am I, spiritual muscles, emotional muscles, right? Am I exercising and making stronger? I know that change can be good for us if we seek it, if we, if we try to seek it. What's the wisdom I should be learning from this experience? I know that God will bring it to our minds and will help us learn exactly what we need to learn that will help us with the next thing that life presents us with. Okay, so the affirmation for today is I am moving forward with an expectation of cha that change is good for me. Okay, the, the song for this entire week is Walking on Sunshine by Katrina and the Waves. And, and it's a very celebrational song. It's a very, very happy song. And um, so hopefully it will help put you in a happy mood. Because even if we're going through challenging times, if we can stay in a happy mood, um, we're going to be better. Things are going to be better. Okay? Now... Um, as I was thinking of the song Walking on Sunshine today, I um, was thinking of th about that kind of after I kind of shooed most of my family out of my house saying, you need to go get your hour of sunshine. Like my husband loves to jog. Some of the children just like to lie outside um, my little, my little, um, 11 year old loves to ride his bike while his dad jogs. So whatever you love to do in the sunshine, whether it's walking your dog or gardening, right? It's springtime, it's time to plant the food. Anyway, whatever it is that you are doing, um, get out in the sunshine because sunshine, our body is like so incredible, the body that God made us, but it's our body um, can produce vitamin D when we are out in the sun. And so I just did a quick search on Google to see what, what are the benefits of vitamin D. And so here are some of them. One, it helps us sleep better. So if any of you are not getting enough sleep, can you just get out there and boost your vitamin D by exercising or by laying out in the sun? It helps us have stronger bones um, because it improves our uptake of calcium. It can regulate insulin levels, which can have the benefit of not only having our blood sugar balanced more so we're not as grumpy, but it can also help us so that our um, blood sugar, um, is, our body is a better able to um, deal with like the carbohydrates and stuff like that we're eating. So it doesn't turn too fat as much because our body is able to um, handle it better. It... It helps relieve stress, right? And everyone knows that stress can do a number on your immune system, so you don't want to be stressed. So getting out in the sunshine can make it so you're not as stressed. And um, it can help balance blood pressure. It can help our body absorb minerals better. Are you having fun? Okay, he's having fun being on camera. And um, it can help in weight loss. And it can help fight depression, but I left the last one that vitamin D can um, can do. And I just found this on some little site on the internet, but it says it helps reduce flu risk. So I'm just going to guess that it boosts our immune system. Okay, vitamin D, like sunshine, like medicine that God gives you that makes you happy while you're out in it. Isn't it so cool that God gave us the exact things that we need? God is good. And if my little, if one of my sons was right here, um, Clancy, his favorite, one of his favorite sayings is, God is good all the time and all the time, God is good. Okay, so that's the song that we're singing this entire week, Katrina, um, Walking on Sunshine from Katrina and the Waves. 
and the diffuser blend that we're diffusing this week is two drops of helichrysum, which is the oil for pain, and two drops of cedar wood, which is the oil community, and two drops of wintergreen, which is the oil of releasing control or the oil of surrender. So let me tell you, today we're gonna to be going into the emotional benefits of wintergreen essential oil. And then tomorrow we're gonna to go into the top physical benefits of all three of the oils in our diffuser blend. Oh, you know what? I think he has just snuck one of the um, granola bars, breakfast bars, anyway. Yeah, he knows I'm busy, so he knows he can sneak things. Okay, um, do your children sneak things too when they think that you're busy? Anyway, so going on to wintergreen. So many of us love the wintergreen flavoring. Many of us have um, experienced it in maybe toothpaste or candies or gum. So there's a difference between using the essential oil and like the leaves, which is what you, they usually use the leaves for flavoring. And so um, wintergreen essential oil is not one that you can use, um, that you can use internally. He's gonna need me to open up his candy bar. Oh, um, Caleb, can you help him get some pants on? What do I say? My son just, does not like to wear um, clothes sometime. Hopefully he will learn better. Um, well, we can teach him better because we definitely, um, thank you for helping him get some clothes on. Want him to try to keep some clothes on. Anyway, uh, okay, back to wintergreen. Okay, so, the, so um, there's a difference between the leaves and the oils. You can definitely get a lot of flavoring from the leaves but the essential oil is super, super concentrated, so you do not want to use it internally. In fact, doTERRA's wintergreen oil comes with a, um, a child-proof cap on it, okay? So do not use it internally, and anytime we're using it, we are going to be um, putting it in like a carrier oil, just using a couple drops in a carrier oil, okay? Because it's very, very potent. So here are some things that you can do and ways to use it emotionally. So if you've had a hard day and you just want to kind of release all the, that negativity that may have built up, go ahead and pop a drops, pop a couple drops into um, like a quarter cup of milk or a quarter cup of Epsom salts and put that into your bath. That's going to help it um, kind of diffuse through the water better as opposed to just like laying on top of the water. Okay, so and that can help you relax. It can also help us relax control. Just think of it again as a very relaxing oil. And and have and as we relax control, we can we can give a space. We can open up a space in our mind and our heart and in time to to trust other people to to do things um in a good way. Okay, it can also help us, remember it's so relaxing, so it can help us release fear or anxiety or stress. It can let, help us let go of the negativity. Oh, I know so many of us are watching the news right now because we want to know what's going on in the world. We're, like, the world seems to be changing so fast. Um, so we, we want to stay abreast of what's going on, right? And so, but sometimes the news can... Um, the news, unfortunately, can be known for pointing out a lot of the bad things that are happening in life because they say that bad news sells and good news doesn't really sell. So we can get like a, an unbalanced perspective of life. So I'm not saying not to like to watch the news or to read the news. I totally believe that we should keep abreast of what's going on in the world, but that said, sometimes we just need to release um, the tensions, the worries, the fears, the the negativity, and so winter green can help with that. It can help us let go of trying to force things. As a mom of nine children, all I can say is it would be so nice if um, a person could actually Okay, I know this, 
Okay, bear with me on this one. All I'm saying is it would be so nice sometimes if a person could force something, you know, and, and that would be actually effective. I have learned you cannot force children to eat. You cannot force children to do almost anything that they don't want to do. And adults are the same way. You can't force them. So if we're if if forcing people is not really an option because it doesn't work anyway, what is the weight? So if it doesn't work, then we should probably like let go of that need or that wish or that desire to just like wave the magic wand and having have people be different. And what can we do? Well, the scriptures say that we can be long suffering. We can be prayerful. We can be patient. We can be persuasive. We can, um, anyway, I don't know. Christ doesn't force anyone. Like Christ never forced anyone. But he did invite a lot of people to a better way of life. And as much as I would love to be able to wave the magic wand sometimes and have my children love cleaning up their rooms or wave the magic wand for me and love me to be cleaning up my rooms, we all have to have patience, right? And wintergreen can help us relax and remember that force is never the right way. Love and patience and kindness and persuasion and long suffering is. Okay, so, um, they say that wintergreen can help get back into the flow of goodness. It can help us surrender to higher powers. So I remember that there was a very popular saying when I was growing up and it was like, pray like everything depends on God and then go and work like everything depends on you. Well, as much as I love hard work, Sometimes more work or more um, more pressure isn't the answer. Sometimes I'm reminded of this story by Aesop's Fable where they're both the sun and the wind are kind of debating on who's the strongest. And so they devise this contest that whoever can get this guy to take off his jacket will be the strongest. And the wind go, goes first and he just blows. He's like so sure that he could get the guy to take off his jacket if he could just blow it off him. And well, what's your guess? Like we all know the story. It doesn't work, right? All he does is he just holds on to his jacket even more, right? And then what happens? Then the sun comes. The sun just starts out just gently just warming him up and then he just he just pours on the warmth and the guy takes off his jacket right <sighs> mm, something I need to learn something I'm sure all my family would love me to learn that pouring on the warmth and the love is the thing that would help people um, choose themselves to go to better paths um, that will help them. Okay, anyway, and wintergreen can help re re us relax, help us remember that, that um, hammering things is not the best way. Okay, trying to remind us and myself especially, put away the hammer, bring out the sunshine and the love. Okay. And, um, okay, blue, sorry, wintergreen can blend very well with other oils like blue tansy, Roman chamomile, and peppermint to help us release our need to control. Okay, some of the negative emotions that wintergreen can help with is being controlling, being willful, needing to be right, feeling burdened, and excessive self-reliance. And the positive properties that wintergreen can help bring in is surrendering, not surrendering to anything bad, but surrendering to God, surrendering. Um, relying on divine grace, um, not feeling so much attached to the outcome, but feeling attached to what we're doing. Like one of my favorite um, quotes, 
one of my favorite quotes is by John Quincy Adams, who was the son of John Adams. And he said, he was famous for saying, duty is ours results God, God's. Well, I mean, duty belongs to us and results belong to God, right? So if we are trying to set example of keeping a clean house and our children don't really do it, well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does, it might get us a little frustrated um, and we want them to learn good habits, but what, what matters most is how we are acting. If we're trying to teach someone maybe not to pick their nose and or to wash their hands or to stay at home, right? The, the, the thing to remember is that we're trying to teach and we're trying to model good things. And whatever they choose, we have still tried our best to be a sound and healthy and perhaps even warning voice. So um, again, duty is ours, results are God's, so we don't need to be as attached to the outcome. We need to be attached to what exactly are we doing to try to make the world a better place. Okay, it can also help us relax, which can help open us up to be more um, teachable, and it can also help us feel strengthened. So, wintergreen essential oil. I think you're gonna love it. I think you're gonna love the smell. I think it's gonna you're gonna love the way it can help bring a relaxing atmosphere into your home at any time. Okay, this is. I am reminding you that the after. The diffuser blend for the week is two drops of healer custom, the oil for pain, two drops of cedar with the oil for community, and two drops of wintergreen, the oil for surrender. Can I just say, I love teaching you these things because I am learning so much along the way. So, anyway, thanks. The song for the entire week is Walking on Sunshine, and I highly encourage everyone to get out in the sun every day. I'm really trying. I had to look it up, and they were saying that usually the sun is strongest at noon, so I'm trying to get out and do my walk at noon, um, but whenever you're feeling the sun is, sh is strongest where you live, get out. Let's get out in the sun. Okay, and the affirmation for today is I am moving forward with an expectation that change is good for me. Just like medicine, sometimes it tastes nasty, right? Sometimes medicine can taste, taste nasty. Sometimes we don't want our medicine, but medicine is good for us. And change can be good for us too, it can. Okay, and the affirmation for the entire week is I am anticipating extraordinary things happening. Before I sign off, I just want to invite all of you to um, general conference so I believe that the same church that was put on earth um, that Jesus had started when he was on earth where he was the the leader of this church and he had his 12 apostles I believe that 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 church that he established eventually as they killed the different apostles and and um, stuff like that and the priesthood and the, the principles were lost from the earth, that that church was kind of lost. And I believe that it was restored in these latter days. And <coughs> I just um, want to say that we have <coughs> um, a general conference coming up on Saturday and Sunday where our prophet and 12 apostles and other general authorities and general officers are going to be talking to us. Um, I believe our prophet speaks for God. I believe that the church that was restored is the exact same church that Jesus Christ had on the earth when he was living on the earth and that um, he, Jesus Christ is at the head of the church. That just like in the olden days where um, God spoke to prophets like Noah and Moses and Jonah and Abraham that he speaks for to a prophet today 
I am so excited to see what they are going to be saying to us. And if you are curious, um, I invite you to hop on. I will post the link to the general conference in these notes. And um, anyway, I just had to share my deep and profound faith with you because I love you. And if the true church on, was on earth today, I would want to know about it. And I believe that the same church that Jesus Christ had when established when he was on the earth the first time is on has been reestablished in these days. And um, it's called the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Now, just like a disclaimer, they didn't have anything to do with this video. Like the church didn't have anything to do with this video. All of the thoughts of, of mine on essential oils and music therapy and all of that stuff, that's mine. That's me totally, okay, but it's still, if, if the true church was on earth today, I would want to know it, and I believe it is. So I love you enough to tell you, to invite you, um, to tune in, to see what you think yourself, okay? This is Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils, Health Matters, and Living the Wholesome Life, telling us that I know that we all have the power within us, with God, to make it a great day. Bye-bye.